for this country. And Mr. Speaker, it is the book that tells us that you shall know them by their fruits. Through the family, we were able to have a sneak preview of what kind of a gentleman, a person, and what demeanor General Ogola was. But most importantly, General Ogola was a teacher, a teacher who is teaching us even in his death. Mr. Speaker, General Ogola is telling us that we need to rethink our final rights as a country. We cannot have villages that spend more on funerals than they do on the education of their children. Mr. Speaker, the leadership that General Logola has presented is something to be emulated, Mr. Speaker, even in his death. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I just pray that God... General Jackson Kimeo Mulenge, I also stand to condole with the families of the bereaved. And Mr. Speaker, uh, General Ogola is the first uh, officer, or rather the first general to die in office. So of course there's going to be very many questions. You heard what the son said when uh, there was the funeral was there. He said the father was physically fit, but somehow the father was also preparing them for his demise, which was, you know, those are the kind of questions that we need to have answered. So I think it's important that we hasten the investigations and if possible, even this house also plays a role in ensuring that we can bring this issue behind us so that Kenyans can also have proper and full closure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Wow. Donya, we are coming this. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we continue mourning our hero, May, we've uh, seen many funerals and we learned so many things. Donya standing here, I can say, for General Gola's uh, burial and the uh, funeral uh, ceremony, we didn't witness uh, women fighting, children coming on board. He led us. He has taught us. We, we, we give him a heckle, uh, Mr. Speaker, for his uh, uh, well-behaved uh, uh, way that now everybody is having an appetite for his uh, uh, moral ways uh, in the family. Thank you. Yes, member for Endebes. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. First and foremost, for letting this house honor our fallen heroes, Honor uh, Chief of the General De Defense Forces, uh, General Lokola, and the other nine members who died in an aircraft in West Pokot. Honorable Speaker, it's a sad day for our country, and uh, we want to say pole to the family, pole to all those people who General Lokola uh, made a difference in their life, especially our most disciplined forces, the Kenya Defense Forces, who have excelled in many of the peace missions within the region and even far away. Honorable Speaker, issues of cattle wrestling in which he, had follow, he was following up are very emotive issues, and we hope that the government will deal with it once and for all. Honorable members, we've done a full hour. Allow me to truncate the debate here and call the majority leader as the last speaker on this. Bear with us. There is a motion by Roy that tomorrow to do with the army as well. Please be available to make. Rosa, you've just come in. The people have been here all this time. They have not gotten their space. Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, allow me to join the House in condoling with the family of General Gola and all the other nine gallant officers including the pilot Major Magondo, who lost their lives in the tragic crash last week on Thursday. Honorable Speaker, you remember when it happened, it was Honorable Emilio Diambo who drew attention of the House to that tragic loss and the crash on Thursday evening, and it was not yet clear at that time what had exactly happened, just as it is not clear yet what exactly led to that crash. Honorable Speaker, I want to say, as the President committed during the funeral of General Gola last Sunday, that the government of Kenya and indeed the Kenya Defense Forces 
have already set up a team to investigate the circumstances that led to that accident, that very unfortunate accident. And I will speak 